What's up, YouTube? This is Rhinox Energy here. This is your host, Adrian. And today on the channel, this is a new episode. We got some new stuff, so stay tuned. Check out what we got. What else can we be forgetting? Box cutter. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who watches the channel so far, everybody who's been checking out the videos, and we got something new today, guys. I've told you guys we, we've had this in the works for a minute, for a while, and doing some unboxing. Shout out to Milwaukee Tools. I'm available for a sponsorship also. So what do we have in the box? Yeah, stuff we're not gonna use. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Yeah. What is it? It's fucking heavy. Damn it! All right, we got the eco-worthy version three battery here, guys. Um, this has been something I've been looking at for a while now. So as you know, I already have three of the version two batteries. Couple things here. So as you can see, they switched up the terminals. They put the positive terminals on the, on the left side, uh, on the new one, as opposed to the right side, which they were on on the old one. So this puts me in a kind of a dilemma because yeah, I have version two batteries. I have three of them. So that's 15 kilowatt hours worth of power that I don't want to get rid of, obviously. So push on the shove, definitely I'm not going to get rid of them. So in this case, I just went ahead and went with the version three battery, as you can see here. To me personally, it looks bigger. It looks like a bigger battery. Um, if I'm eyeballing it just from like here, just to actually, I know it's a, it's still going to be a 3U server rack battery, but if I'm just eyeballing it here, it looks like a bigger battery. Uh, now, I'm sure it's going to actually fit in here as well, but just to me, it looks like a bigger battery. I don't know. That, that, that could be me. We're going to need a bigger bolt. <laughs> We're going to get this installed. And one thing I did notice is that it came with, so it came with these. And as you know, these are on different sides now. So whenever I put this, this in the rack, these aren't going to be long enough. So I have some longer two aux wires that are here that I'm going to use for this setup. And I know, I know what you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me that the wires need to be the same amount of length. And yes, technically you're right. And I, I completely agree with you, but in this case, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do it, guys. I don't, I don't necessarily like doing this, but there's no way I'm gonna swap out three version two batteries just because I got one version three. There's no way I'm gonna do that. So for now, I am gonna use these longer cables. Um, and these are pre, I think these are pre-made or I use them somewhere else, but I'm going to order some, some more connectors just so I could shorten this at some later date. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but for now, we're going to get this going so I can actually charge it tomorrow. So let's get into the, to the bill here. <laughs>
we got the fourth battery installed. It's not ideal, but again, when you have, when they upgraded the version, uh, I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but this seems larger. It seems like a larger, larger battery. Um, I'm not complaining, but I did set the dip switch to be number four in the server here. So this is number four. You got your negative, you got your positive. It looks switched around. I had to put these on there because, because of the difference here. And I'm just not gonna buy an all new battery set just because they switched it around. So hopefully this works. Uh, we're gonna turn on the batteries here. Um, wish me luck. We'll start with the one on the bottom. Turn that breaker on. Turn this breaker on. Breaker on. Turn this breaker on. And we'll turn this breaker on for the first time. And see how much juice is in there. It's always exciting when you turn the battery on for the first time. So, battery came on. It's got two lights on it, which kind of signals about 15, 20%. Now that we have the battery on, as you can see there, it's blinking. So all the rest of these are full. These are 100% full. So I've, I've charged these up while I've been at work today. Uh, the other three, the previous three batteries, this is the only one that's not full. So we'll go ahead and turn the, we'll turn the inverter back on. We'll turn all the loads back on and we'll kind of monitor the app here. And if this is done correctly, then we will have, what should show up in the app is four batteries so as you can see now you'll see the battery parallel numbers for number change so that changed from three to four you'll see that the battery capacity has changed from 300 to 400 amp hours so giving us a total of 20 kilowatt hours on the system here we'll scroll back up and you'll also see that this is our solar yield for today um, now you'll see the batteries are at 81%. That's because the new battery has been added and it looks like that battery is probably at, uh, I'm not sure what that battery is at, but let's go see. We're gonna check on the, let's see here. We'll check on the Ego Worthy app just to see what that battery is. Is it 100 amps currently sitting at 32 amps? That's pretty good coming from just being shit about 30, 32% with the battery charge. It's, it's pretty good. Um, so we'll look, take a look at some of the sale data here. And the EcoWorthy app shows a lot of data. Um, I'm new to all of these things, so I'm not sure what other manufacturers actually show. It's probably a lot of the same thing, so I, I would guesstimate that it's about the same information. But yeah, that's the app. We will go back to the Eco or the, uh, not the Eco, the, we'll go back to the EG4 app. Just take a look at that. So yeah, so in a nutshell, this is the, this is what we have right now. So I'm super excited for tomorrow. So it's about eight o'clock here, Central Standard Time right now. I'm doing this video. So obviously there's no sunlight uh, coming in right now. So tomorrow, Whenever I wake up, 6 a.m., the sun starts to percolate on the, the solar panels. So we will kind of see what we got here, guys. We'll, we'll definitely kind of see. And tonight, I'm gonna charge the Jeep fully up here. So I don't exactly know, let's just say 32%. So I have, I may have enough to charge the Jeep completely up because I'm gonna run this battery down to about 15%. State of charge is at 81% now. 
So I'm gonna actually run it down to about 15% for the overall system today. So tomorrow, it should be bright and sunny and we should really, really see what this battery is gonna do. I'm expecting more of the same. Some of the comparisons in this battery to version two are that this battery you can connect up to 32 of these version three batteries total, which is great. Um, some of the things that I want to do, and as you can see here, I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer here. As you can see here, the dip switch, there's six dip switches here. So originally you can only hook up 15 of these batteries. I think it's 15 of the version two batteries. These go up to 32, which is phenomenal if you're just looking at to keep growing your system. Now, always keep in mind, you don't have long before the end of the year. Um, at the end of the year, the 30% tax credit goes away. So by the end of the year, my goal is to absolutely fill this one and this one to have 30 kilowatts hours worth of battery storage here for the foreseeable future. That is the ultimate goal, and I got a feeling, guys, we're gonna make that goal. And after we fill this cabinet up, the next thing we're gonna actually do is we're gonna purchase the Siru, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, or I think it's Ruxu, whatever it is. We're gonna purchase the Ruxu 10, uh, 10 rack server rack uh, system. So because ultimately I would like to have 50 kilowatt hours worth of batteries. Um, and shout out to EcoWorthy for making a phenomenal version three battery. I think this is with the double um, double circuit breakers here. This is phenomenal. Um, I can't wait to see what it does. Um, I'm super excited. You guys can't tell. And what I'll be doing in the very, 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 very near future is I'm gonna be going back through and I think it's super important for me to go back through and start to label all of these batteries with install dates. Um, that's something I did purchase not too long ago, a couple days ago. So I did go out and purchase a label maker. So if you guys don't have one of these, a Brady M210 label maker, also comes in a Bluetooth version. Definitely might be worth picking up. So I'm gonna go back through and label all of my batteries with the install date. And yeah, so I'm definitely gonna be printing out a new install date for this one. But I think that's it, that's about it guys. We're gonna wait for it tomorrow. Like I said, we're gonna charge the Jeep tonight, wait for it tomorrow. And then we're just gonna take it from there. This has been a journey. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you guys for watching the videos. Great, appreciate you guys for, for the, all the comments, the likes, everything that you guys keep me going each time. I don't know if I should put it right there. I'll just put it on the side. Yeah, I'll just put it on the side. But yeah. Greatly appreciate you guys for tuning in, watching the videos. Uh, we're only gonna get better. It's only gonna go up from here. And until next time, I'm your host, Adrian. This is Ryan Ox Energy Channel. Like, share, subscribe, and keep on supporting the content. We got more server racks to, to fill up, guys. We got two more right here. And then we got four more, because we're gonna buy another one. And then we're gonna buy another six batteries. But until next time, I'm out.